During this period between Ascension Day and Pentecost, we are immersed in a mood of anticipation, of quiet waiting. It's a waiting for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, and our minds are drawn to the words of Christ when he said to the apostles in his last discourse to them, I will not leave you orphans. I will send you the Advocate, the Holy Spirit. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, is the presence of God in us and through us. We realize that we are all reflections of God and the whole universe is one whole reflection of God. We are drawn into his life in the Holy Spirit. And in these days, we are awaiting for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as the apostles waited in the upper room. It's a spirit that promises us to be God's assurance with us, to be present to us, but sometimes we allow the Spirit to be occluded, to be far from us. We say God is absent from us, but it is we that are absent from God. It's only when we take time, when we step back, when we walk into silence and allow the Holy Spirit to come and dwell and be with us, that we truly receive the Spirit, feel the Spirit in our hearts and be moved by the Spirit. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, our Comforter and our Friend, as we stand on your word, we ask that you rain down on us that your power fall on us and change our hearts. Open heaven wide and pour out the rain of your Holy Spirit over our church and our lives. Change us, renew us, empower us. We need your touch again, precious gift from heaven. Send us your cleansing rain. Amen. And now the Cathedral Choir will sing the ancient hymn, Vene Creata. This hymn was composed in the ninth century and has been a central part of the Church's liturgy and worship ever since. Down through the ages, the hymn has been used during ordinations to priesthood and diaconate, the consecration of bishops, and the coronation of kings and queens. And it is still used today in our ordination services. The hymn you're going to hear now is the Anglican version of it, as derived from Thomas Cramner and Martin Luther, and is translated from the 15th century by John Cousin. As you listen to this hymn, just allow yourself to go into silence and allow the Holy Spirit to come, to be, to dwell. Amen. Mm -hmm. 